In this screencast you'll see how to install vFabric Administration Server and how quick and easy it is to use it to provision TC Server and a web application. The server is going to be installed on a standard Linux box with Java and Erlang already installed. Installing the server is simple. All you need to do is to unzip it and then run the setup script. Running the setup script creates the server itself, the administration broker that's used to communicate between the server and its agents, and the agent install package that is used to install the agents. When installed, the agents are pre-configured to communicate securely with the server and its broker. Once setup is completed, the administration broker and server can be started. Once they've started, we're ready to install the administration agent and all of the machines that we want to administer. In this example, we're going to install the agent on three machines using vFabric Administration Server's Ruby API and a simple Ruby script. To install the agent, the scripts run on each of the three machines. Once the agent's been installed on each machine, the final piece of the installation process is to start the three agents. Now that the three agents have started, we want to check that the three machines are available for administration. To do this, we can use the Ruby API to check that there are three nodes registered with the server. As expected, the server now has three nodes and we're ready to use it to provision TC server. To provision TC Server and deploy a web application, we're going to use the web application example script that's available in the Ruby API's GitHub repository. This script uploads the TC Server installation image and the web application's WAR file to the administration server. It then creates a group of all of the available nodes, three in this example. It then installs TC Server on this group and creates an instance. The group contains three nodes so the TC server installation and instance will be created on each of them. Finally, the web application is deployed to the instance and the instance is started. Now that the instance has started, we can switch to a web browser and see the web application running on each of the three machines that the server is administering. Finally, we switch back to the web application Ruby example to clean things up. The cleanup process stops the instance and deletes the group, the installation image and the WAR file. Deleting the group also deletes the TT server installation and instance that were created in it earlier. You can learn more about vFabric administration server by referring to the documentation and the vFabric blog. If you're interested in using Ruby with vFabric Administration Server, check out the page on rubygems.org and the project on GitHub.